vitamin K is a coagulant and responsible for synthesis of clotting factors like 2, 7, 9 and 10. So what are the different types of vitamin K? So vitamin K1 as well as K2 are two naturally occurring forms while K3 is the synthetic analog. First one is vitamin K1. So phyloquinone or phytonadione obtained from plant and it is most commonly used. And vitamin K2 is minaquinone and vitamin K3 which is a synthetic analog is a menidione. So all these are the different types of vitamin K. So here out of all the three vitamin K1 is most commonly used and the most common side effect of using vitamin K1 is flushing and it is the drug of choice for warfarin toxicity also. And what about the sources? Vitamin K are abundantly available in green leafy vegetables and dairy products. And let us look what are the functions of vitamin K. As I already mentioned about uh, when it take part in the coagulation process, so it is required or responsible for gamma carboxylation of various proteins which are concerned with the clotting and it is synthesized by the intestinal flora. So vitamin K deficiency can occur after prolonged use of antibiotics and it is responsible for the synthesis of clotting factors like 2, 7, 9 and 10 because gamma carboxylation of the glutamic acid requires post translational modification of clotting factors 2, 7, 9 and 10 and it is dependent on the cofactor called as vitamin K and warfarin is a vitamin K antagonist. And what about the deficiency manifestations of vitamin K? So vitamin K deficiency can cause neonatal hemorrhage with increase in the PT as well as PTT due to the deficiency of 2, 7, 9 and 10 clotting factor but with a normal bleeding time. As neonates have sterile GERD, they are unable to synthesize vitamin K. And also vitamin K is given to prevent hemorrhage. So this is what you need to know about vitamin K.